first one when we have the musubi and uh, the kuzushi that is applied you see that it affects completely not only the wrist but wrist elbow and shoulder so this keeps the distance uh, from the uke to the tori and makes it harder to attack because it unbalances and it affects directly the, the hara and you see that you have an arc on the back of the uke later when he bent the arm and he catch the wrist there's a twist on the wrist, a torsion and it is uh, extremely painful, please be careful while practicing this it affects also the elbow and the shoulder we have here a main triangle that we are going to observe in many techniques this will make it easier by applying the pressure down to impact the knee and the elbow probably against the ground that's another injury that we uh, look for when we are applying this technique of course here we'll see everything will be really careful applied but then we obligate the person almost to sit down and position him in superman it means lateral so his own weight will be over the left arm that is bended and we're going to manipulate then easily the right arm against the natural position we are applying strength you can fracture depending on the intention of the technique but when we bring the person uh, in a normal lay down position sometimes and actually many times you see that the hip comes up not only on this uh, technique and that's because of the harage when we talk about hara and ki and energy, so the energy comes from the hara to the arms and hands. It means that the energy will flow and will be transferred with the attack. When you block it, it means that the energy cannot flow anymore. It has to come back from where it came. In this case, it will be the same hara. So it's like you have a overflow and a block energy on the hara itself. This means uh, that due to the pressure the person will bring the hara up as a consequence of the quantity of energy blocked and through the anatomy perspective and with experience if you are uke you see that this will relieve the pressure that is applied to arms and elbow the next sequence you see we have a similar catch but you will see that the triangle between wrist elbow and shoulder is now in another position it doesn't matter because it continues to be this triangle that is very easy to imbalance a person by manipulating this triangle and it's easy because you can uh, manipulate also the direction of the hara of the uke as you see that the hara of the uke is diagonal there is a pressure over the wrist and on the elbow because the elbow is coming up, it's been forced up and the hara twists to try to relieve a bit the pressure on the arm and by doing that, by, by changing the, the hara position of the hip it makes very difficult for the person to catch a secondary weapon and try a reaction or any kind of attack so this is a safe uh, way to manipulate this triangle. On the other hand, by press the uke, you can manipulate him again. You will see a lateral position. The weight again will be over the left arm. And when you apply pressure on the shoulder, you'll see this a, like an arrow, okay, coming from the hand to the shoulder. And this uh, with the correct application of the pressure, you will dislocate the shoulder. Okay, you take out the, uh, the arm from the glenohumeral joint. Then you can control both arms, you're crossing both arms. One of them, please check the position of the hand. It means that you're going to use also the elbow 
and when you bring the person down with the belly down that's in good suicide position the person is completely unable to try to catch any kind of secondary weapon or apply any kind of reaction the third one we have also the triangle that we saw but in another angle finally and by manipulating that angle uh, actually it's very easy for you to manipulate the, the balance of the UK because with a small pressure over the forearm you can bring completely the person down just by pressing a bit so this is really really painful and if you do it violently you are going to fracture the wrist then it makes it easy for you to position the wrist on the hip and pressure more now that's the curiosity here because this technique sometimes made you pro pro provoke a really bad fracture uh, and if it was exposed better because when you actually uh, support this on the hip or you apply pressure if you have a, a fracture external fracture this will also uh, penetrate the body and will help to avoid the person to move the arm okay besides the pain that we will cause then you manipulate easier the left arm and by applying on the hip keeping the stretch arm you will also be um, working on the shoulder again we have here an arrow okay that comes from the, the hand to the shoulder so the hara will be diagonal and it will be completely the person to be capable of reaction reacting and again by repositioning the left arm this as further you bring the arm the worse so also a key so also here you, you can dislocate the, the shoulder next technique we have the, the twist of both wrists when you do that you position the elbow up so again by Bringing it against the, the, the uke, it is completely unbalanced and uh, makes it harder to react. When you cross it, again you are working here with the elbow joint. So when you apply a pressure on the opposite direction of the elbow, it's really easy to uh, manipulate the uke especially because it's really painful and it fractures really uh, in an easy way okay you don't need too much pressure to fracture the arm in this position can you see another cross against the elbow and the pressure over the cervical now here is really important because uh, with that pressure over the head uh, please again play, uh, be careful this is really painful do not harm your partner but with this pressure over the cervical it makes it really hard for the uke to try to react plus you have here depending on the strength or the angle that you apply some fractures along the way so those are wrapping techniques and it's very complicated for the uke to get out of it okay especially when you you have all those injuries the next one we have an udeosai now the udeosai as we saw before it's a technique that when we apply it must be uh, applied in a certain my okay time and space in a way that the person doesn't uh, reach the 45 angles where the arm will be really strong for you to try to block the technique or block the makochi or 
the technique that will be made. So when you enter the, the right my, you unbalance really easy the, the hara. You see a curve, a, a arc on the back, and that is because the limits of the scapula rhythm. By doing it, then it's easy for you to bring him down and to control the arm, and then you position the uke okay in a way that you control also the leg. So the hara will be completely blocked at the moment that you apply the foot to the side, and you have a completely wrapped position where you avoid him to escape. Please remember that when you bring the udeo side down, you will be fracturing the elbow and maybe dislocating the shoulder depending on how you apply it. So all those uh, sequences, all those effects that you can see like wrapping position is because you caused a lot of injuries along the way. You avoid the person to have conditions to get out of it.